in my house for the cheapest low low price because obviously you know I ain't got no job um <laughs> for my clothing brand so you know that I'm trying to start this drop ship clothing brand but really that's not my primary idea I want to start a clothing brand but you know if you watch the other watch the other videos anyway so I thought it'd be cool to create a studio in my house shoot the looks once they arrived because it would a protect me from having to interact with others Coronavirus. Um, and also, it would be cheaper than having to hire a photographer. Even though I have tons of friends who are photographers, and I'd love to work for them, work with them once the pandemic is over, and hopefully once I have a job again. But anyway, that's beside the point. I, I thought this would be cool to share because I found this helpful. I found bits and pieces from lots of YouTubers. Put it together. So, okay, where do I even start? Uh, let's start with the first thing that I ordered, which was the lighting. Okay, so the first set that I ordered, I'm going to turn this light out. I can't turn the lights off so you guys can actually see them. I'll show y'all after. So I ordered this from Amazon. I will put the link in the description bar if I remember. But this is called Lumi Studio. And it came with this, which includes the light bulbs and a carrying case. There's nothing in there right now because I'm using these lights to shoot. Uh, nothing. In here was three 120 volt, 45 watt light bulbs. And inside of these are little okay, pieces of styrofoam for you to keep the bulb in. So that's good. Nice to come back if you, in case you need to pack up and move your studio or photo shoot somewhere else. You have your light bulbs and they'll be protected and not break. I've already broken one so I had to order an additional light bulb which was fine I got from Amazon as well. Um, I'm gonna try to show you guys the lights without turning them off. Let's see. Well, I'm gonna have to turn them off. So this is one of the stands, and that is the. Well, you can't see it. Let's turn it off. The bulb that came with it, and then the, you get a shorter one. I don't know the exact heights of these guys, but you can look at the listing when I post it in the description. And then there's another taller one. So all three of them fit in the case. Okay, so uh, the next thing I ordered was backdrops. Backdrops is actually where I felt I saved the most money. So if you go on YouTube and you watch a bunch of videos, it will tell you that you get this backdrop paper from like Adorama or um, there's another one. I can't think of it right now. Um, but they cost about 40 to $50 for one. And I'm sure they're great. Um, these, however, are actually backdrop paper for teachers' bulletin boards. So it doesn't come in the length, uh, the width and length that the real backdrops come in. But it's really, really close. So this one is 48 by 60. So usually I think it's 52 or 53 feet by 60. Uh, so yeah, you don't get as much, but they work perfectly fine and they were only $20. So I got three of them and it was free shipping. So I feel like I saved a bunch of money there. So I will post the link in the description bar. I can't remember the name of the company like right off the bat, but it will be there for you to take a look. And then lastly, and I got this tip from another YouTuber. I don't remember her name, sorry. I watched so many YouTube videos. 
that you're going to need a curtain rod and I don't for, I forgot what these things are called. The, the hooks that the curtain rod goes on. So this is the one that I have. It extends. Oh, you can see that really, really well. The dimensions and all that good stuff. Again, it will be in the listing. I got this from Amazon. And then it comes with anchors for drywall and nails. And it comes with three of these. So in the footage I'll insert, if I insert it, you'll see me putting this um, above my archway. Or Now I'm thinking I want to order another curtain rod because the second time I only ordered these. You will need a drill to put these up. That's the only guy. I mean, honestly, I didn't use a drill for this side. I'll show you in a second. But I did use a drill for the other side and the drill obviously is much more effective. But they're both up there. So I feel like if you don't have a drill, use a screw. It's fine. Um, so yeah, I'm going to show you. A little bit more detail about what that looks like. See here. So here's one. I don't know if you can see it. And then there's two. And then I also did them up here. As you can see, I kind of finessed that one up. That was the second one I did with the drill though. And, and now I just think it's much more convenient to have one backdrop there, one backdrop here if I want to shoot and not have to worry about like interchanging them while I'm doing it. And I'm going to show you real quick how I slap out the backdrop paper. So let me show you how I do that. Okay. So I'm going to set up the yellow. And the reason why I chose to do this setup is because when I'm not using this, if I want to just flip those off of there and the wall just have like a little nail in it I can do that so that's why I really like this because it's like I live in an environment you know if I want to change the scene I can just pull these off for now and then put them back up when I get ready all right so you can do this one of two ways you can twist off the end what I would recommend or you can literally just pull them apart and put one on I wouldn't recommend it because there's like a there's like a little silicone part here and it's hard to get this in there when the paper is on so I would just leave them attached so it's hard to get them when the paper ain't attached Thank you. 
pieces. You can tighten them here if you need to. If you're gonna be like, I don't know, vigorously. But like I put a little piece of tape on it and tape it to itself so it doesn't unroll like it just did. But that's it. <laughs> that is it on my home studio. I did a little B-Day outfit photo shoot if you wanna see how it worked. I did some shooting before that and I had to tweak some things with my camera and now I think it's working perfectly so and with the lighting because I was doing like the lighting very low I had to raise it up and now I think I've kind of gotten it to a good place so I did like a little shoot I kind of did some behind the scenes footage of that and I will post that <laughs> Just like a tripod they go into a smaller uh, size and they all fit in this case and I love that because I can just grab this grab this which is the light bulb and we out we rolling mobile photo shoot on the rise I mean obviously we don't have that but <laughs> you get my drift uh so hope you enjoyed this video again questions you can post them below thank you for watching bye guys Thank you.